happy and cheerful morning to all my dear students. I hope you all are fine at home and taking care of your health. So we are back with our social studies class. And if you remember, last class we started chapter number one, our earth and the solar system. So we were studying about the planets and in that we had already discussed about earth and mercury and venus now let's start with mars you can look at the picture see now let's study about mars planet next to the earth in the solar system so mars is the planet next to the solar system to the earth it is also known as the red planet because of the presence of iron oxide on its surface so because there is iron oxide in it it appears red its rotation period is almost similar to the earth it has two moons photos and demos so these are the names of the moons of mars jupiter jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system a large part of it is made up of gaseous material okay so this is jupiter and it is the largest planet underline or you can write it in your notes if you are making notes uh, which is the largest planet jupiter it is named after the mythical roman god jupiter jupiter naam kaise hua it is because of the roman god it has 66 known moons revolving around it how many moons revolve around it 66 therefore it is also known as mini solar system so if it comes then why is jupiter known as the mini solar system so you can say it is the largest planet and it has 66 moons saturn saturn is the most beautiful planet of our solar system there are bright rings around its equator you can see this is the equator and these are the beautiful rings around it. These rings are made up of icy particles, dust and gases. Saturn has 62 known moons. How many moons? 62. So the most beautiful planet is Saturn. Then Uranus. Uranus is named after the mythical god, Greek god of sky. Okay, Uranus kis ki naam se aaya? It is a mythical Greek god of sky. It is the seventh planet from the sun. At what number it comes? Seventh. It also has rings around it. We can see there are rings around it. And it has 27 moon known so far. A large part of it is made up of ice. And therefore it is known as the ice giant why is it known as the ice giant because a large part of it is made up of ice as we know that it is far away from sun so these are all extremely cold planets ab jo pass mein honge sun ke wo thode hot honge like mercury but these are far away from sun and neptune the last one it is the eighth and the farthest planet from the sun in the solar system. It is the eighth and the farthest sabse dure sunse. It is named after the mythical Roman god of sea. Which Roman god? Roman god of sea. It is 17 times the mass of the earth. How many times? 17 times. It has 13 known moons. So these points, children, you have to remember the facts also, right? How many moons were there? Which is the furthest? Sabse dur kaun sa hai? The most beautiful one and the biggest one. Okay? So these were the planets of the solar system. And now we talk about the satellites. What is it? This is the satellite. As you can see in the picture. Now what are satellites? Celestial or heavenly bodies that revolve around the planets. Aisi heavenly bodies, jo 
प्लैनेट्स के आसपास घूमती हैं नाउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड सैटेलाइट इट मीन्स एन अटेंडेंट और अ कंपेनियन वट डज इट मीन अ कंपेनियन दैट इज हमारे जो कंपेनियंस होते हैं हमारे फ्रेंड्स होते हैं दिस स्टे विथ अस राइट सो इन द सेम वे इवन दिस सैटेलाइट दिस स्टे विद द प्लानट एंड द रिवॉल्व अराउंड इट दे आर सो कर्ड बिकॉज द रिवॉल्व अराउंड द प्लानट्स प्लानट्स के फ्रेंड्स हैं दे आर कंपेनियन ऑफ प्लानट्स and so they are known as satellites the satellite rotates on their own axis the satellite move around the planets from west to east where how do they move they move from west direction to east direction we know more than 160 satellites in our solar system underline how many satellites do we know more than 160 mercury and venus are the only planets that do not have any satellites mercury or venus aise planets hain jinki apni koi satellites nahi hain like planets satellites also do not have their own light just as the planets don't have their own light in the same way these satellites they don't have their own light they shine because of the sun so you see sun gives light to so many people i mean people of the solar system right the planets and the satellites all these so they get light from the sun so this is a satellite and this is how it looks like now artificial satellite is also a thing children सी ये तो नेचुरल सैटेलाइट है बट इवन ह्यूमन बींग्स हैव मेड सैटेलाइट नाउ दीज सैटेलाइट दे रिवॉल्व अराउंड द प्लानट्स एंड वॉट दे डू दे कैप्चर द मोमेंट्स दे टेल अस अबाउट द वेदर वेदर फोरकास्ट टेली कम्युनिकेशन ये सब के लिए ये आर्टिफिशियल सैटेलाइट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके चिल्ड्रेन सो दैट दिस इज द सैटेलाइट पार्ट एंड नाउ Let us talk about the moon. Moon. Now, what is moon? Moon is the only natural satellite of our planet Earth. Which is the only natural satellite of our planet Earth? It is the moon. It is the closest celestial body to the Earth. Earth से सबसे close कौन सी celestial body है? it is the moon okay it is about 384400 km away from the earth so moon and earth ka distance kitna 384400 km it has no light of its own moon does not have its own light it reflects the light of the sun so just like planets they get light from the sun in the same way even the moon gets light from the sun the moon appears to increase and decrease in size it appears at different positions and in different shapes at different times isn't it see if you might have noticed during the night time what happens the moon keeps on changing its position and even the size right so this is exactly what they say that sometimes the moon appears to be big sometimes small so the size keeps on increasing and decrease these are known as the phases of the moon also the lunar calendar is based on the phases of the moon so what is it children ki ye jo different type aapko dikhta hai ki size bar bar chhota bada sometimes see it is half sometimes it's like that so this is what these are the phases of the moon and there is an important term that is the lunar calendar now what is a lunar calendar See, generally the calendar which we use, it is based on the phases of the sun. 
सन के फेजेस पे वो कैलेंडर बनता है बट लूनर कैलेंडर इज बेस्ड ऑन द फेजेस ऑफ द मून दैट इज द मोमेंट ऑफ द मून विच कीप्स ऑन डिफरिंग ऑन दैट बेसिस दिस कैलेंडर इज मेड विच वन इज इट लूनर कैलेंडर ओके ना फेजेस आर कॉस्ट ड्यू टू द रिवॉल्यूशन ऑफ द मून अराउंड द अर्थ Now, why are these phases caused? These phases why are they caused? Because the revolution of the moon and the earth goes around the earth, and this is why different phases are formed. Okay, children. See, you can look at this picture also. This is the earth, and this shows the moment and the phases. Now, do you think how many years or days or months? Will the moon take to complete the rotation of the Earth? Earth के आसपास complete rotation में moon को कितना time लगता होगा? Have you ever thought? It takes twenty seven days and eight hours to complete one revolution. How many? One revolution around the Earth. Once again, twenty seven days and eight hours. To complete one revolution around the Earth, the visible shape of the Moon that reflects sunlight changes from night to night. Now, what happens? The visible shape of the Moon, that is, that shape which is visible to us, to the people on the Earth, so that changes from night to night. And ऐसा क्यों होता है? It is because of the reflection of sunlight. ओके मून को अपनी लाइट तो होती नहीं है इट हैज नो लाइट ऑन इट्स ओन इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द सन हमें जो मून दिखता है इट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द सन नाउ व्हाट इज इट सेट दैट जो विजिबल शेप दिख रहा है कि अभी छोटा दिख रहा है अभी हाफ दिख रहा है सेमी सर्कल दिख रहा है इट इज ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ द सन लाइट ओके वेन द मून ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम द न्यू टू द फुल मून फेस The visible portion increases. This is called the waxing of the moon. Now, this is very important, children. What is the waxing of the moon? See, new moon means what? कि जब हमें totally moon नहीं दिखता है, and then what happens? कि पूरा rotation वापस से start होता है. New moon, okay? Then slightly you can see. आपको थोड़ा सा दिख रहा है then the moon is appearing more then again more and you see the full moon over here so what did you saw that during the no moon or new moon period what happens the moon looks completely invisible hame nahi dikhta hai or it looks very thin isse bhi zyada thin dikhta hai see isse bhi zyada thin dikhta hai okay and then slowly and slowly what happens The shape changes and finally there is full moon. Full moon, as the word suggests, it means जब हमें moon complete दिखता है, okay? So this is the full moon. When the moon journeys from the full moon to the new moon phase, the visible portion decreases and the moon is said to be waning. Once again, I will read. When the moon, what happened? Journeys. From the full moon to the new moon phase, the visible portion decreases. A full moon मतलब क्या? कि हमें totally पूरा moon दिख रहा है. And new moon मतलब कि बिल्कुल नहीं दिख रहा है. So वो complete moon धीरे 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 कम होता जाए. You know, see, this was the full moon, and slightly what do you see? It's getting decreasing. It's getting decreasing. See, हमें moon कम दिखता जा रहा है. So this is known as what? Waning. Waning means कि small होता जा रहा है. Okay, the moon is looking smaller in size. This is your waning. And in waxing, what happens? The moon travels from the new to the full moon. Waxing में क्या होता है? कि new moon, that is completely नई है moon, and then धीरे-धीरे बड़ा हो रहा है. So increasing then waxing, or decreasing तो waning. Okay, children. Now, see. 
when the dark hemisphere of the moon faces the earth we call it a moon night or amavasya now when the dark hemisphere see earth hamare earth ko jo side face karta hai okay that that hemisphere that side when it faces the dark one jab dark ho to hame moon kuch is tarah dikhta hai this is how it looks like and what is it known as it is known as amavasya or new moon okay and what is full moon when the bright hemisphere of the moon faces us jab hemisphere that is this sphere of the moon is bright bright side hamari taraf dikh raha hai hamari earth ki taraf that is known as purnima is it clear children the last that is sometimes when the moon comes between the sun and the earth what happens it cast its shadow what happens it cast its shadow and this is called an eclipse okay when it covers the sun completely a total solar eclipse occurs so what does it see this is your sun this is your moon and this is the earth so when the moon comes between the sun and the earth sun or earth ke totally ekdam between center mein aake khada hota hai so what is it known as it is known as the eclipse when it covers the sun completely a total solar eclipse occurs totally dark ho jata hai even in the afternoon what you will see that it is completely dark when during the solar eclipse when the earth comes between the sun and the moon a lunar eclipse occurs now what is it jab earth see earth when it comes between the sun and the moon that time what happens lunar eclipse but what happens when the moon comes between the sun and the earth that time it is solar eclipse don't get confused earth jo beech mein aata hai it is lunar eclipse and when the moon comes it is solar eclipse there is no air and water on the moon it does not have an atmosphere like our earth naturally this is why people don't live over there thus there is no life on the moon and it is very hot in the day time that is 120 degree celsius can you imagine 120 degree that means it's extremely hot and during the night time it is very very cold minus 120 degree celsius imagine how extremely cold and chilling it must be on the moon right children so last on july 21 1969 two american astronauts neil armstrong and edwin aldrin landed on the moon so these were the first two american astronauts who landed on the moon neil armstrong and edwin aldrin they explored the surface of the moon it is very important you should remember their names they were the ones who went to the moon on the first day on july 21 1969 so children i know we learned a lot and it was an interesting topic right it was indeed interesting now it's time for your worksheet which planets do not have their satellites what is the meaning of the word satellite which is the largest planet of the solar system which is the seventh planet of the solar system what is a lunar calendar explain the solar eclipse in short and name the astronauts who landed on the moon for the first time so i hope children the topic is clear to all of you if you have any doubts we can discuss that in the live classes so till that take care of your health goodbye students may god bless you